Mensore. Watashi no namae wa Avery Kinuye this. Mensore is Okinawa for welcome. My name is Kinuye Oshiro Avery. My friends know me as Kiki. A situation related to the base realignment program in Asia specifically involves one base on Okinawa, where 37 bases still exist on this small island. This controversy goes beyond politics. It is the ethical and moral issue we are concerned with. I will be your host for this story that focuses on the Futema MCAS, located in the heart of Genuan City, Okinawa. 60 years ago, 1945, when the U.S. military unleashed a new kind of hell for the Okinawan people, brought on by the empire of Japan. One year ago, this past week, a marine helicopter from Futema, MCAS, crashed into this university, causing major damage.
Well, the damage is being repaired. We can still see the scars of that damage. The charred walls and the burnt trees trying to come back to life, just as the Okinawan people. Following the end of World War II, which ended 60 years ago in June 2005. The cause of this accident and at the very center of this controversy is the Fatema MCAS, built in the waning days of World War II when the battle for Okinawa was over and the Japanese defenders were defeated. The Okinawan civilians came out of their hiding only to be placed behind barbed wire and held as possible enemy combatants. While the civilians living in the villages of Futema, Oyama, Ginawan, and others were being detained, the military occupation forces seized their lands. Navy Seabees, with their giant bulldozers, quickly raised the remaining homes, worship sites, and rice fields. A large chain-link fence was erected to close the area to its former inhabitants. When the Okinawan civilians were released from their lengthy stay behind barbed wire enclosures, they found their homes had been turned into the future military base of the Fatema Naval Air Station. This base was designated as one of the launching sites for the anticipated war on Japan's home islands. However, with the dropping of the bombs at Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the war came to a quick end. The Okinawan people thought that their lands would be returned to them, but this was not the case. Even though the military already occupied the area, now known as Kadena Air Force Base, which to this day is the largest air base in all of Asia, the Navy and the Marines wanted their own base, so the construction continued on what is today known as the Fatema MCAS. The base was officially completed and dedicated in 1961. Following the Vietnam conflict, the Fatema MCAS continued operating as a training site by the 1st Marine Aircraft Wing. This base occupies 480 hectares, which amounts to over one-fourth of the area of present-day Ginawan City and includes a 2,800-meter-long runway. The continual problems with this base have been a lightning rod of emotions for the Okinawan people. All eyes in Japan are focused on Okinawa to see what will now happen with this base. Over 125,000 Okinawan civilians, including members of my own family, died during the World War II. How many more Okinawans have to be sacrificed before this dangerous base is closed, not moved? Close. My question to the president, who is recognized as the leader of the free world, and to the government of Japan is, why Okinawa? These are messages from the people. President Obama, we understand the tough decisions you have to make, but I speak of the issue of U.S. military alignment in Asia. Specifically, the Fatima MCAS, located on my birth island of Okinawa. In November 2003, Defense Secretary Rumsfeld inspected Fatima MCAS and reportedly pointed out the danger of the base, saying he would never be surprised if a serious accident happened here and he reported to order that this base be closed within three to four years. Nine months later, a marine helicopter crashed into the university. Now, two years after the defense secretary remarked on the dangers, the United States government is still dragging their feet on this issue. We will take you into this controversy and let you decide and hopefully understand why so many Okinawan people are frustrated. The most recent crash of a marine helicopter was the stroll that broke the back of the Okinawan people living in and around Genawan City and Hinoko on the beautiful island of Okinawa. The negotiations between Washington DC and the government of Japan have been conducted with a little regard 
for the Okinawan people. President Bush stated in early November 2005 that not all people will be satisfied with the decision he makes, meaning the Okinawan people involved in this controversy. We were invited to attend a symposium being held here at the university. The original purpose of the Special Action Committee on the Okinawa Agreement, known as SACO, was made by both the U.S. and the Japanese governments because of its dangerous location in the very center of the populated Ginawan City. The Tama Air Station is allegedly called the most dangerous military facility in the world. Mayor Iha met with officials in the United States hoping to gather support to speed up the process of closing Fatima Marine Corp Air Station. The symposium was held because the people living in and around Ginawan City were concerned that the political process was moving very slow. One year after the crash, where these circular training flights are now conducted every day, and right over the surrounding communities. The citizens of Ginawan City are forced to live not only in tremendous fear, but also with the excessive noise pollution caused by the helicopters, jets, and large refueling tankers that also practice daily. I was on the campus of the Okinawa International University when the crash occurred. I was stopped by the military from access to my campus. From that experience, I learned that our ordinary life is easily abused by military actions. I would not have thought that military-based problems would be our problems if I had not experienced the crash. I went to the United States this summer as one of the Ginawan delegates. During our stay in the U.S., I was often disappointed by the fact that not many people paid attention to the U.S.-based problems in Okinawa. This is Nakamura, who lives across the street from the Okinawa International University, when moments before the crash occurred, grabbed her sleeping child from the floor, and ran out the door as pieces of the helicopter, breaking up, crashed through her house and landed on the floor where her child had been sleeping. Mrs. Nakamura participated in the symposium out of her strong determination that nobody should experience the fear she went through when the helicopter crashed. Her house was damaged by broken window glass and debris. I visited Italy to research U.S. military bases and operations there for a special report. Consideration to citizens' life environment are the premise of the presence of all U.S. bases in Italy. Italian military has control over U.S. bases, which prohibits flying over communities during specific times, especially during the Italy's nap time between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. The rules that the U.S. follows in Italy is totally different than in Okinawa. This is very strange and unfair system. In Italy, the U.S. bases place a high priority on community life. The U.S. forces rejected an on-site investigation requested by the local police, and they tried to suppress citizens with force. Through the last year and its aftermath, the Okinawan people saw the discrepancies between the mainland of Japan and Okinawa, as well as between America and Okinawa. Can you tell us first how your life was before the crash? Before the incident, I heard the sound of the helicopters regularly, so their sound did not bother me. But I felt something was wrong several days before accident. I felt a helicopter might crash. How has your life changed since the crash? After the incident, my life was no longer normal because I started feeling fear at the sound of the helicopter. Are you experiencing more fear now or is life returning to normal if that is possible? I am still thinking about how to be free. I feel fear when I hear the sound. I have been upset because the military doesn't have any concern about our life. When it comes to the current controversy, I respectfully ask you to listen to the Okinawan people, just as you listen 
to the American people begging for change. Following eight years of disaster, which led to the economic depression being felt around the world today. Uh, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Yoji Ha, the mayor of the city of Ginowan, Okinawa, which hosts the United States Marine Corps Tenma Air Base. There was an agreement between the United States and the Japanese governments regarding the total return of the base. However, the base has not been returned. We understand you recently returned from the United States. Can you tell us what the purpose of your visit was for? And what do you feel you accomplished? We returned from Washington, D.C. in July 2005. The purpose of the visit was to obtain support for the closing of the U.S. bases in Okinawa as soon as possible. After showing the pictures of the Fotema Marine Air Base, everyone was surprised about the circumstances of the base being in the middle of the city, being so congested, and said there are no similar circumstances in the United States. Have there been any further incidents? There have been numerous accidents involving helicopters inside and outside of Fatima Base, but none as serious as the August 2004 crash. We continually worry about when, not if, another crash will occur. You have stated that the training flights over your city have increased. Have the military explained why? No, they don't explain us why those trains increase so heavily. As you can see, this very large aircraft is landing and flying extremely low on its approach to the runway at Fatema. Notice the many large buildings, which are both residential and business, directly in the flight path of the landing zone. We have watched as this type of aircraft and helicopters conduct their touch and goes on a continuous basis, day and night. Ugan is a sacred practice to all Okinawans. Can you explain the importance of this practice? and how it relates to Ginawan and Futema. The religious practice of Ugan is very important to the Okinawan people. Some citizens' beliefs are based on the land and the ancestors. The people worship at their ancestral tombs once a year or at designated spiritual areas four times a year. Because of the military base built on top of people's homes, tombs, and land. The people are not able to go to the family tombs to pray and honor their ancestors. For the tombs above ground that have not been buried or destroyed, permission must first be granted by the military. However, in some of the areas, even when the families apply for permission to visit and have been applying to visit for the past 60 years, the permission has been denied. I don't understand how the United States can do this and not allow the Okinawans the right to go to visit their ancestors' graves, some for as long as 60 years. The people are not allowed to practice their traditional religious beliefs. It is not right. This site is approximately 300 meters north of the main gate and partially buried the uh, top left portion of the tomb extends down under the fence, down underground. The majority of the tombs in this area were either bulldozed down or covered up. No family members were allowed to dig it back up or relocate this tomb to a place where the uh, family may have wished. Tombs all the way there, roads going up in here. I'm not sure if uh, families are allowed to come in. Turtleback tombs that families normally keep, very clean, free of grass. They're belief is based on the Shinto religion, which pays tribute to the ancestors. Just to the outside of the fence is several tombs. This obviously was a, a burial ground at one time. Several of the tombs that back right up to the 
west side of Futenma, MCAS. Homes of the living, closest to the ocean here. Up on the hill, the homes of the deceased. Nice view. Nice fence. On November 20th, 2005, President Bush, during his trip to China, called on China to expand religious, political, and social freedoms. President Obama, when are you going to allow these same freedoms to the Okinawan people? The fact that tombs were destroyed in the building of Fatima, the fact that one tomb has been left almost completely buried under the fence line of the Fatima MCAS and left for all to see is a daily constant reminder for the past 60 years that the United States does not care about the Okinawan people. The military sites infringements by the Okinawan people close to Futema, MCAS, for being partially to blame for the problems. What are these infringements? The military has complained that the Okinawan people are partly to blame for the accidents because of their encroaching so close to the military base. But it is the military who encroached on the Okinawan people. The people had their property taken away by the military following World War II. And now they are forced to rebuild their lands, schools and churches next to the military base. In San Diego, the area around the base, named Miramar, is designated as a dangerous area, which implies that the Fatema base area is also a dangerous area. Well, this is Miramar, Marine Corps Air Station, just out of San Diego. You can see that the area along the fence line is shopping malls on the north side of the field. Other than barracks on Miramar, you're not going to find any other habitation for many miles. Move this base back to the United States. Let it occupy area at the Miramar MCAS. Or even better, reopen a closed military base which will put money back into the American economy. For years, this dangerous base has been the focus of attention around the world. Now, it is in your hands to not only help the American people and in the process help the Okinawan people as well. The notion to keep Okinawa as the unsinkable aircraft carrier in Asia is a theory that has outlived reality and modern warfare. During World War II, GIs took trophy as souvenirs of their exploits. What the United States took as the biggest trophy was Okinawa itself. And with it, the heart of the Okinawan people. The Okinawan people are living cramped tightly in close quarters to each other, while the military personnel live in a large, spacious environment. Dependent housing area for Fatima MCAS. Housing is spread out, and yet across the street, the families in Okinawa are living in small, cramped quarters, 10-foot fences, barbed wire around. The military commander of Fatima then has the audacity to tell the Okinawan people that they are partially to blame for accidents occurring around Fatima by continuing encroaching so close to Fatima MCAS because they insist 
on continue to build their homes, churches, and schools so close to the military base. I would like to ask this military officer of Fatema, where does he expect them to build? In the ocean? Okinawa is a small island to begin with, and the entire southern area was almost completely destroyed during World War II. Now, 60 years later, people who have been trying to rebuild their homes and lives and go on living find their lives in conflict with the military who prefer the Okinawan people not be there and detest being annoyed by the locals who want to live quietly in peace. These are the facts of life for the Okinawan people. People will continue to rebuild their lives and families after the destruction of Okinawa 60 years ago. People will continue to develop their neighborhoods, churches, and schools. The Okinawan people will try to peacefully coexist with the military who does not care about them, their welfare, or their religious beliefs. Have the protests that have been taking place accomplished anything in resolving this issue? 30,000 people came to the rally to protest the U.S. bases on September 12th during the summit conference where the United States government and Japanese government made a promise to reduce the burden on Okinawa. They need to follow through on their promise. The solution is simple. It just requires a King Solomon approach rather than cut a baby in half to satisfy two possible mothers. Okinawa, being the proverbial baby, simply closed Fatema MCAS. It is a dangerous training facility located in the middle of a highly populated city. The current controversy surrounding this base is being debated continually in both Congress and in Japan, with the biggest concern being the large amount of money involved to move Marines to Guam and the relocation of Fatima Air Station, which is located in the heart of Ginawan City to the northern end of Okinawa, which would not only destroy the coral reef, but also the endangered dugon, as well as other valuable marine life in this ocean. Well, the military tried to make their base in Hanoko, which has a beautiful ocean, and it will cause a destruction of the sea life. This base needs to be moved to a United States base outside of Japan. This is one of the harbors in Hinoko. Our first reaction when we got here, walking out on this abutment to a little shrine in the water, was the practice range noises from the nearby hills, exercises being conducted by the U.S. Marine Corps. So I guess if they rebuilt to this area, the people not only would have to put up with the continued explosions, reliving World War II every day, but they would also put up with the helicopters and jets flying in and out of what they want to build as the new offshore landing site. So they want to move the problem from Futema Marine Corps Air Station to Hanoko. Hanoko is pretty well built up all around here. So the people in this area would have just as much to be concerned about as the people of Ginawan. How long have you been here? Well, since the uh, April 19th last year. This tent was built on that day. So today is the 478th day since the beginning. Can you tell us what you hope to accomplish? Uh, what I want to accomplish by sitting here is, look at this beautiful nature I want to protect. So one thing is the uh, preservation of the beautiful nature. The other thing is we, we don't want to help 
anyone kill other people making a new a, a new air station here. Why is this issue so important to the residents of Hinoko? Yeah, in fact, I'm uh, one of the residents here, and this is Hinoko. This is where we are sitting today, and th this is the village I, I, I'm living today, and I was born here. Uh, one thing I'm very much worried about is the noise coming from, from the aircrafts, and also I don't want to see uh, uh, something happen in uh, Futenma to happen here because uh, one of the, the hel helicopters crashed into the campus of uh, uh, a university there. And I, I know that's going to happen if it comes here. That's something you know, we don't want. I'm not living in this village. I come here from uh, about 50 kilometers south of village every day. But the Henoko issue is our issue, uh -huh. Okinawan issue, and human issue. So I am responsible for this issue also, wherever I live. How will this affect the environment? Yes, of course, uh, there's going to be a very, very heavy impact on this nature and also the, the lives of the, the people here. And there's a beautiful uh, coral reef, which is also very valuable, uh, both academically and also you know, in our living. In this sea, we have uh, uh, dugons living, and the dugons live on the sea grasses. Very important for the for the dugons to survive, and they are very much uh, small in number today. See, we have a beautiful ocean beyond that camp of area, so-called Oura Bay. Mm -hmm. The government is going to build there, you know. It's also very rich with marine lives. Uh, especially the, the, the very you know uh, cute fish I you know uh, you've seen and uh, what's that uh, finding Nemo finding Nemo oh. <laughs> yes Nemo and lives I, there yeah. many of them are there and uh, we are going to lose them too I think. Major hosting countries of U.S. military forces in Asia-Pacific region are Japan and Korea. Around 75% of the land occupied by the U.S. bases in Japan is concentrated on Okinawa. Okinawa has had to shoulder disproportionately the burden resulting from U.S. base forward deployment in this region for the last 60 years since World War II.
I know that not only the spirits of my ancestors are watching and listening, but the spirits of over 125,000 Okinawans who die during the World War II are watching and waiting for justice to be done. President Obama correct this moral and unethical issue so the Okinawan people will feel that their sacrifices have not been in vain and that the voices will be heard. I am but a simple Okinawan American woman who has heard their plea and gives them a voice to a country who does not listen. The right to pursue peace and tranquility to exercise religious freedom is not a concept for Americans only. We have to remind the United States again that Okinawa did not start the war and should not have to share this disproportionate burden that they do. And again, we have to ask why Okinawa? It is time to apologize to the Okinawan people, allow the buried and destroyed tombs to be opened and reclaimed and closed for Tema. Give jobs to those in need. Make the wise decision not built on the Hinoko Peninsula here in Okinawa. Save the coral reef, save the endangered dugong, and other valuable marine life here. Please watch our story on Asian Orange on Okinawa. Nihe deberu. Thank you in Okinawa Hogan. Domo arigatou gozaimasu.